How's it going everyone? It's your boy Big D here. It's time to review Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 16, titled Melinda. This is a spoiler review. If you have not seen the episode, go to abc.com slash Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Or if you have Netflix, Season 2 is already on there. This is a, again, spoiler review, so it should take me less than two minutes to recap the episode, give you my pros and cons, and final score of this episode. And uh, this episode is one of the most interesting episodes out of the whole season where you're going to remember it. And the actress who plays Melinda, Ming Man Wen, it's Man Wen, something like, I, I totally butchered the name, but she's a lovely actress, uh, actress, and I may get a chance to meet her in September at a Comic-Con, at Alamo City Comic-Con. Hopefully I'll get to meet her, hopefully not, I mean, no, hopefully not, hopefully will go, I mean, I hopefully will go. It's like $80 or something to like even enter, I mean, to have the three-day pass, but, um, Man, she's really cool, and I, I want to compliment that Melinda episode. You were amazing. You shined on it. So, this is her episode, basically, because Melinda. Feel right to it. So, there's a flashback where May and her husband, uh, they're in the shower and everything, and she's going to go to Bahrain, which is this uh, Middle Eastern country, I believe. And she's a... Uh, She's going to go get a gifted person, and she has strength. This person has strength, and uh, she's with Coulson and everything. And this is before, this is before like Iron Man time. And there's a militia there, so May is to bring Coulson in. In the present day, she's supposed to bring Coulson in. She's supposed to lure Col Coulson back to the real Shield. Uh, Sky moves a mountain. She literally doesn't move a mountain, but she moves it to where an avalanche is created. And that was really interesting, of course, the way she uses her power and everything, and she's using the Force. So the team is taken out in literally 10 seconds in a flashback. Uh, the team enters to go get this gifted individual who can literally brainwash people. And, like, if you literally... If a person gets touched by this gifted person, they're commanded by her. So Lincoln and Reyna are talking, of course, and Jai Ying reveals that she's Sky's mom to Sky, and it's sort of a little emotional moment, not really, but then again, she's like, you're my mom, type of thing. May goes in, and all these people are saying, I need your pain, I need your pain, and it's really creepy, it's almost like they're the 40s type of zombies, where it's like, brains, and that's all they say. So, Coulson says... What does he say? I was saying something. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Psychologica. Coulson says something like that. I don't know where he has a weapon. I, I have no idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bio, bio, um, it's a biological weapon. And, and, like, these Middle Eastern armies come and they're like, oh, what's going on here? And Coulson's like, you don't want to go into this warehouse. It's a biological we weapon. And like, biological weapon? And they're all scared and everything, so uh, it's May versus Eva. Eva's the, one of the gifted people. And May ends up killing the girl, uh, Katia. I believe her name's Katia. She was, the mom that was not gifted, the daughter was. And she was like 8, 9, 10, around there, but maybe 12. Uh, like 10, 11. And she's gifted. And, of course, she's really doesn't know how to control her power, so she's using it for evil ways. And she had to kill you know, or else May would have been one of them. So she was traumatized after that, and that's why Melinda May is so cold. Uh, Sky goes to dinner and with Cal and Mom, uh, obviously Mom and Dad, and Lincoln sees it, and he's basically like, it's not a dream, because Raina said earlier that she sees Sky with, you know, this uh, a flower and bouquet and everything and food. Uh, Fitz contacts Coulson, and basically, he opens the toolbox, and these people are following him. And these basically hunters like, "Do you have a hand washer?" And, he, and it's like, "Yeah, all right, I don't know how to get you out, buddy, because he needs to escape these um, the followers that are there." What did I think about this Agents of Shield episode overall, guys? I'm gonna get all my cons first, just to get that out of the way. Uh, the first half of the show was a little bit slow. Now I do enjoy the flashbacks, but it just it dragged a part of this. The first, like, 20 minutes dragged, really. Uh, the way Jai Ying says she's the mom, it really wasn't... 
You think she would wait to... Like, I'm glad she revealed it an episode later, but you think she'd wait four or five ep episodes until to, like, reveal or the finale, hey, I'm your mom type of thing. Even... It's a big deal that she's alive, for one thing. I mean, you're lucky to be alive. That cow even put her back together. But just the way, like, because I am your mother, you were born July 2nd, blah, blah, blah. And it was kind of like... <sighs> mom type of thing? I think you knew the whole time. Like, it's like... Yeah, no... No, type of thing. Uh, there wasn't, uh, it, there wasn't emotion for me there, really. There are a few emotional scenes, like with Cal and the dinner scene and everything, but it just really isn't emotional, the way she delivered that line. Uh, the kid could have, the kid could have grabbed her. Literally, when May had the gun at her, she had, like, 15 seconds, and she was like, don't make me do this. Like, what are you doing? She's like, just go, okay. She would have been brainwashed. Why did you have to be like, uh, 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 no, just, there. What are you doing? I mean, why are you taking forever? I, I don't get it. Anyway, that's just a con out of the way. Now, pros. The ending, of course, because it ends with Fitz again. Instead of a sandwich, he is basically trying to escape, and he opens the toolbox, and he sees a bunch of cool, uh, progress and everything. So, the ending's really awesome, and there is fighting in this episode, of course. Uh, what, 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 what's the fighting? Like, the fighting between, uh, May. I mean, the, just these stunts that she does and fighting. <sighs> fighting certain people. That's really awesome. Uh, again, May, she is what makes the episode awesome. And it's her highlight. It's her time to shine. And we get to see, before she was a badass, she was already a badass, and that's why she's the Calvary. Let's call him the Calvary. Uh, the flashbacks, I really do enjoy how they were filmed and where they were filmed at. Also, the set pieces, you could tell the set pieces and, you know, okay, action and reset, action and reset type of thing. Uh, Cal's trying. I really do like to see Cal trying. Of course, the actor from Twin Peaks, and he's all scared, and he's like, do you remember when our daughter was born? <gasps> July 2nd? And he, he, just, he just tells a story, and I really do enjoy that about Cal. Uh... There is a creepy villain. The, the creepy villain in here. Who was, uh... What's his name? I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. What is it? Who's the villain in this episode? I was saying that, oh yeah, there's a the creepy villain where the mom is fighting May. It reminded me of when Daredevil in season one was fighting that red ninja guy. I totally forgot his name, but when he grabs, like, the chain and... Whoa, that was awesome. It reminded me totally of that. And the effects of the mountain and everything. That's not low budget effects, man. That's some high budget. Not like the highest thing, but it's decent effects. And I do enjoy Raina in this episode, of course, because she's now the uh, the old lady now. Where she's like, I saw a vision. And everyone's like, cool. Uh, the kid was intense. I mean, killing a kid is already intense as it is, but... Again, she could have grabbed May, and she would have been brainwashed, but still, uh, she bought it. I, that kid was really good, because she was scared and everything, and then she's all serious. And like, you killed mommy, blah, blah, blah. So, overall, I'm going to give this episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Melinda a B+. Plus. It's a good episode overall. It's not great, it's not bad, but definitely it's one of those where I'm going to say my top five favorite episodes out of season two, Melinda. That is one of the best. And of course, we see her with her husband in the flashbacks. And when she was all like, ooh, we're going to have a family, blah, blah, blah. And then... So, what did you guys think about the episode? Comment down below. Let me know. What, let me know. And I'll see you for the next one. I'll spot me with you always.